Hello Bryn, welcome back for your Twin Flame update. I pulled the cards ahead of time. Those of you who are new are very warm welcome. We do live sessions on Yoga's readings regularly uh, in support for the Twin Flames and I give you the psychic updates of what's coming through. If you're wanting a booking, the link is below. Also the launch of the new Twin Flame channel. I'll still have this channel running. Um, will be as of the 1st of January and more information will be coming. Now, I have pulled the cards ahead of time, but as of the 16th, I'm going to do an update. The energy that will come through may be past related. It can swap between you and your counterpart, as well as it can be a lot of meditation going on into, you know, how you were thinking about your connections, what the purging process is, what the clarity is going to be in relation to what way to go. Um, it can be, you know, towards a new love interest, a new path, um, towards... Um, being thyself or then holding space um, at a loving nature but not in a I'm holding on nature let's see what's coming through now I'm hearing pride comes before a fall this can be in both of your mindsets it might be that you know both may have been in some state in the egoic state or a state really focused upon um, what each of you wanted to do. This could be the current state of the situation or it could be the past tense situation, but it's crowning energy. For you personally, Libra, it's taking a lot of strength in order to heal. It has really taken a lot of strength in order to move through the frequency of the lessons within the journey. Again, the, the sadness for you, especially at a nine, because nine is just prior to ten, you know, meeting its higher potential, it does seem for you... You're meditating upon the fact every time you reach the pinnacle of where it could become connected or moving to that next level, it falls short and, you know, it's taken a lot of strength to be able to handle that. Again, this could be past tense situations as well and things that are romantic bundle level you have applied yourself to. You're also looking at any burdens that you've really been working hard on to actually have them removed and lifted. You may have handled other people's burdens um, in situations through your life and really coming to a place where you're looking at it and thinking that things need to be balanced in order to have connections. This is really the purging and the clarity you're going to gain between now and the, the 16th and you might be basing some of your decisions moving forward on this given frequency. You may feel you gain hope then release it and you're, you're sort of bouncing back and forward. This can be affecting your sleeping pattern or it could be in general connected to your 3D life. You are also knowing that in connections it needs to be balanced. You've learnt a lot of karmic lessons and you're trying to move through it regardless of what universe is handing you. Your counterparts energy, be it they're with you or they're not, again look at the soulmate slash karmic energy updates because we each, as we're purging, you know, we can get to the point where we can be high vibration soulmates. The only reason that there is karmic frequencies coming through both in the twin flame connection and in the soulmates is because we're realigning ourselves to a correct state to where we want to be. And we're in that judgment factor of, hey, what is correct for us? Where are we going from here? What's coming through and crowning in the counterparts energy, so your twin flames energy, is perhaps they were handling two situations. It could be at all times there was always one foot in the door, one foot out, or they had other things they were dealing with or a karmic partner. This has this is really in their mindset and it is at the heart of them. Well, it's, it's in the crowning energy of the matter on their side. In their personal life, um, It can make them very emotional. They're trying to gain the clarity. It's almost like they're choosing to be, um, I would say, I'm, I'm hearing um, hermit mode, but it's not. It's mental hermit mode. They're in their mind quite a bit. Um, it is very moon energy. Again, they might be gaining clarity on it, but even within this frequency, it can be they're meditating upon why they push people away, why they do the things they do, why people perhaps have done that to them. Really mentally, they're having to use a lot of bravery in order to cope with the frequencies and, you know, their healing process between now and the 16th. But they actually do have the power in their own life to be able to transform their given situation. And I feel they directly know this in a clarity level, in an intuitive way.
it may have been that they used their power for good and bad but there was a falseness connected to the power they had vice versa it can go the lack of communication is currently they feel they do have the power to communicate but they're choosing not to again it can be vice versa and they want to take a fresh approach and it may be they're doing something behind the scenes to change this situation to bring the connection or what connection they feel to the next level it might be they're not communicating because of the connection but there's a falseness connected to it now your energy libra in the 3d what's holding you down or what's making you deal with certain dynamics and conflict and purging <sighs> can be conflict okay it can be um the conflict between the two of you uh it can be the conflict within your own given life that you're directly dealing with and trying to work through to come up out of it can be tower moments and then the aftermath of it and you're really fighting to actually move through it but i do feel a fighting spirit connected to this it's an order for a transformation to happen what's up in the air with okay so this can be your meditated state it can be your dreams your hopes your fair base frequencies again 3d in the lower realm not 3d it could be within 3d but at an emotional level that you're not um, communicating about or you're undecided about or your fair base frequencies which are 4d so your higher self knows what the big picture is but the 4D can be the fair-based egoic energies that are coming through. You're concerned about a fresh start, but you know there has to be one. So in some shape or form, there has to be a fresh start because you are, you're moving to a place where you physically need to move forward. So whatever is going to come between now and the 16th, you are going to have the clarity in order to move forward in some shape or form. It could be... Uh, a lack of faith in that and that's what's up in the air or it could be towards a person you lacked faith in it can go either way otherwise book a reading and we'll tune into your situation okay yeah it is directly towards a love interest so again hold it how you will now within your passion zone this can be what's triggering you or uh, you know especially with, with your sacral chakra how you are moving towards things or where you're getting triggered you know it can be eating disorders it can be the band-aid effect knowing that a change is coming for the better so you're grounded in this frequency you got passion for a road could be for twin could be for a soulmate energy but regardless you're feeling as though through this transformation of what you're dealing with in the strength of what you know in your heart or what you're going to realize at the 16th is that there will be a change for the better because you directly are wanting to come to a place where you have a fresh start and this this can be connected to a liberan or it could be within the liberan cycle or could be a Libran rising or ascendant. Venus house two. But again, the signs aren't relevant. It's more within the Venus retrograde. The clarity is coming. Now, at an emotional level, be it 4D, again, our blocks and our ego, or the physical 5D, the bigger picture, there can be nasty frequencies around you that you're aware of that do make you emotional and maybe the past is what the nasty is and you're reflective upon it and you're trying to understand without the direct clarity you're trying to understand how situations transpired again it doesn't have to be connected to twin flame energy it can also be connected to past tense frequencies of you know what hasn't ended uh, like never ending in a correct manner or or never quite gaining closure on situations And the, you know and maybe trying to look at it from a new mature point of view but perhaps um vice versa it could be that there is a connection to wanting this to grow to the next level but frustrated that it doesn't end but it hasn't moved i'll leave it at that okay now the energy between you there is going to be a judgment 
and it's going to be a wake up call. Now it can be, this is your, um, your right as in a life path, or it could be, uh, the energy of making an assessment, knowing what your achievements can be. And it can also be connected to children I'm hearing. But knowing what your worth is, really both of you coming to a place, and again, it's interesting, there's an M on the actual key, the key to the situation, it could be on the 10th for you, something's going to change. Now, Mercury is going retrograde when Venus goes direct, and both those symbols are on the card. Wait for that time before making any decisions. Now, there might be a conversation in relation to any lying and deceptions, or you might be meditating upon that factor. You may hear information in relation to this for some of you, or you may just get a download in relation to this. You are coming out of sadness with it, because you know you need to move forward. But there is going to be, for some of you, conversations either connected to this given person, your twin, or... Um, towards your friends in support of this transformation for you personally. Also, there might be a frequency of being very run down and fatigued. And this, again, is due to the retrograde of Venus and the burdens that you've really been working very hard to move out of, okay? You're also going to be meditating upon, you know, where people didn't put an effort in, in your own life. Both of you will be doing this, okay? So the conversations very separately can be with other people that failed you or betrayed you or with your friends to understand what's going on. It can also be directly connected together. And, you know, where you didn't put effort in, the both of you, and where, where you did and where other people perhaps did similar things. So the purging and the mental anguish connected to that wasn't, wasn't a joyous connection. And very emotionally droning. You are going to come out of your mind about it and really try and focus on being in a better frequency. But by the 16th, I do feel there will be a transformation. So for twin, as in the Libran frequency, you're going to come out of your head and it might be more communicating it. Be careful, especially around the 14th. No, yeah, probably the 14th through to the 17th for communication and again probably from the 16th onwards communication is going to be a bit problematic because we are with mercury retrograde <clears throat> between you there will be joy in your own personal life separate or directly together from the 16th onwards there's a transformation and for your counterpart twin flame you know it might be that they're trying to find the happiness it might be they're going out more And wanting to have a little bit more fun being a little bit more um, happy and really serving themselves not other people not doing things for other people really finding their own tribe of who make them happy and making decisions based on that yeah because of an enemy actually close by. So it may be that they realise between who their friends are and who their friends aren't and who their love is and who their love isn't. I'll leave it at that. Love and light. And I'll see you on the 16th or on Yilda's readings for the live sessions.